Now, given the fact that the Texas power grid was 4.37 seconds away from total collapse, imagine that, folks, total collapse of their grid. And it would have been down for weeks or even months from what all the experts do say. That would have been 29 million people without power for a very long extended period of time. All right, more than 14 million people during that whole situation were without water. You gotta have water, folks. Water is the main thing that you need to survive. And you had 14 million people that didn't even have any. You also have to remember, the grand solar minimum started in 2020. It's gonna last through 2053, okay? And the decades between 2031 and 2043 will be the ultimate worst. Don't. to be the bearer of bad news but this is what you got to plan for so this video here is going to show you a lot of different things that you're going to want to make sure that you have to make sure that you can survive when all these different types of catastrophic events are going to start taking place that we have no control over this has nothing to do with anything with the government or any this type of stuff national catastrophic events which we can't control or stop catastrophic event happening and you're in harm's way and you are staying put you have to make sure that you have some way to cook number one all right and you also have to make sure that you have a backup as you can see right here this is a coleman stove okay this coleman stove i've had this thing for years it still works great now my backup to my coleman stove is this gas one now the Coleman stove runs on these propane tanks right here. These are one pound tanks, but if you do buy this here adapter, you can hook this right up to a 20 pound propane tank. Your, your lantern here also runs on these tanks and it will be connect to this hose here and you could have light somewhere wherever you need it. Now these gas one runs on butane. You have an oven here that connects to your Coleman stove. And this way here, you could do even some baking and stuff in a grid down situation. You can buy one of these, connects right to your Coleman stove, and boom, you got an oven. Now, in any one of these set here products, you gotta make sure that you have some way to light them. Correct, people? So you have your matches, you have Bic lighters, you can get these grill lighters, which are really great. All right, water. Like I talked about, there was 14 million people without fresh drinking water. A life straw, very cheap, very easy to use, and you get fresh, clean, water first aid you got to make sure that you have all types of first aid you may want to pick up one of these here tools right here all right this is your water and gas and utility shut off all right a lot of people during this storm that they had in texas all right they couldn't turn their water off at the main and the water was just gushing through their ceilings and floors and everything else and they had a huge mess. If you would have this tool here, you can go right out to your main. You use this end right here. You put it down in there. You twist. And guess what, folks? Your water is shut off and your situation has become under control. This is your gas shut off. Either one of these, depending on what type you have. Now, you can get all different types of lights and stuff. But you know what I would really suggest is making sure that you have a good headlamp. Maybe even a backup to your headlamp. All right, in case this one goes dead, you can charge it and then put the other one on. Having something that gives you hands-free, folks. This way here, if you got to work on something, fix something, do something, do anything. All right, your hands are free, both of them. Not just one, both. You can also go, I did a review and stuff on these, on the gear light. All right, these are great, sturdy, waterproof flashlights. Solid metal, everything else comes with the great pouch right here. That will attach right to your belt. You want to make sure that you have an emergency radio of some type. All right. You can also pick up a Bofang. You can get your weather reports and everything on here. You can talk on this in an emergency. All right. If it's not an emergency, if you don't have a, the proper license, you cannot speak on this. But in an emergency type situation, you can talk on this radio. Some type of 
walkie-talkie communication between you and somebody, say, in somewhere else, in your house. Say you're outside, you're working, or, the, you know, somebody had to go do something or whatever else. These have a 10-mile radius on them. They work very well, and they're made by Motorola. A good, sturdy knife to make sure that you can do whatever you may need to do. All right, something that is going to take a beating. Pocket knife, Swiss Army pocket knife, has all kinds of attachments and stuff. You know, that's a good tool to have because you can carry it right in your pocket or just a regular one blade pocket knife. Doesn't really matter. Now, moving on back here, all right, battery backups and battery banks. You can pick up all different types in any different price range and everything else. The biggest thing is, is you have something where you can charge it with solar panels, all right, and you can still charge your cell phones. You can run your internet. You can do whatever as long as the lines and stuff, you know, aren't down. There's different things that you can do with these things. You know, they come in handy for a lot of different projects and everything else. Most of them all do have like UBS ports, uh, a, a regular plug, and everything else. And it just depends on what you want to spend. Then you also want to make sure that you have batteries. Your radios and lights and flashlights and everything else. Make sure that you have enough batteries to run those said products. Because if the power is going to be out for quite a while, you want to make sure that you have some way to... Get the power to the small equipment that you need to make sure that you can survive backup this is an external hard drive one terabyte all right you want to make sure this way here you can back up everything on your computers and everything else and you can put it all on here you can put it into this bag right here which is a emp bag that i purchased online all right and this will protect this from an EMP or power surge, power anything, and it's safe. It's not waterproof, but it is protected. You could store this in a waterproof container. In the given situation where there was 14 million people without water, you saw them filling up milk jugs, okay? And how many times do you have to keep walking back and forth to that one spigot that is working at the end of your block to get water? All right, so you want to make sure that you have some of these containers right here. You can pick these up at Walmart. That one's a five gallon. That's a six gallon. That's to give you enough water to last you for a day or two. Then you move on over. You know, you want to make sure that you have different size tarps. All right, having different size tarps can come in real handy. Say your roof got damaged or anything else. You know, at least you got some way to patch it or something like that. And if you had to set something up outside to cook under, you could set up a quick little tent system where you could put up your all, all your cooking gear and everything else and this way here you have someplace dry to cook all right your 72 hour food bucket right down there building your own is very simple very easy i mean it's it's just a no-brainer folks all right i've done videos on them they're really easy to do emergency backpack all right your go bag whatever you want to call it all right something that has everything in it that you can need to survive because you just don't know what's going to happen in an emergency type situation now do you that if you can just grab that bag you may survive for at least a few days until you can get to a safe place a air pump all right you never know if you're going to get a flat tire you run over something anything like that you might want to make sure that you have some way to plug your tire and that there would also air your tire up some of the things that you may need in an emergency type situation. This isn't written in stone. This isn't like, you know, you have to buy the exact products that I have. This is to give you an idea, to get you thinking of some of the things that you need and that you're going to need to get through that catastrophic event that is certainly going to happen again. We saw how close Texas came to a total grid down collapse and it was just what would you do how would you provide for your family that is the number one question folks and this way here you can secure your family's future and being prepared a little bit is better than nothing right